Hello YouTube, my name's Sean Connors and welcome back to The Outsiders. And this is the first of a new video series called Secret Signs and Symbols. And this one is all about the platonic solids, i.e. the very dice that we love in our RPGs. Did you know that there were five platonic solids? I guess you can recognise them from that slide and see them in the dice that we love and use. But here's some interesting things that we may or may not know. Despite being named after the Greek philosopher and mathematician Plato, there is plenty of evidence that these shapes, said to encompass the four classic elements of earth, air, fire and water, together with the elusive fifth element, have been discovered at least a thousand, time, sorry, a thousand years before his time. In fact, the first three shapes were identified by Pythagoras. Plato described his discovery in 360 BC. Because they are related to the elements, the platonic solids are said to encompass everything within the known universe. These shapes are regular polyhedrons. That's to say, they are multi-sided three-dimensional figures whose points of con or corners all touch the sides of an orb. There are literally millions of irregular polyhedrons, but only five regular ones. Each of the elements is represented by the solid object to which it relates. Earth is the 12-edged cube or hectrahedron, i.e. six-sided dice. Fire is a six-edged tetrahedron, its pyramid shape approximately flame-like. I always find this fascinating because... We associate the cube with things like fire and lightning in role-playing games um, and would never have associated the D4 for such. But of course, the truth and the reality is very different from the actual game. I wonder if there's a game design mechanic in there somewhere just based on that alone. Fascinating stuff. Air is a 12-edged octahedron or 8-sided dice. Water is 30-edged isocahedron. Um, the isocahedron is a 20-sided dice. The fifth element, ether or, or ether, was identified by, uh, as by Aristotle, though it was commonly accepted in the East much earlier. Although Aristotle did not identify the fifth element with the flipatonic solid, the 30-edged dodecahedron is a 12-sided dice. Plato had commented that God used the shape to arrange all the constellations in heaven. One of the enduring images of the five platonic solids is the model proposed by Jonas Kepler, a German astrologer working in the early 17th century at the time. There were five known planets, and Kepler sought to establish a relationship between these planets and the shapes of the solids. Although the original idea was abandoned, Kepler's experimentation did result in the discovery that planetary orbits are not circular. The platonic solids may not first appear to be particularly secret or sacred. However, their discovery was as profound an importance in our understanding of the universe and how it works, and the beauty of their regular geometric forms is a great influence on sacred geometry and architecture, as you may or may not discover later in the Secret Signs videos. Concludes the first video in the Secret Signs and Symbols video. Which secret sign or symbol would you like decoded next? You decide!